First, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you, Tashi Dele. Tashi Dele, 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 Tashi and I would also like to thank everyone at Yale University who has uh, been responsible for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to be here. And honestly, and I would also like to thank all of you who have come here today. Kadui this is my third visit to the United States of America. And whenever I come here, I have a special feeling of freedom and joy, especially this time, the third time, as I've been visiting several universities, I've uh, been overjoyed by the experience of meeting with many students and witnessing a little bit of their study and university life. Now, the topic you've asked me to address is compassion and the environment. background and background to give you a little bit of background, uh, many people have asked me, uh, what inspired you to become so concerned about the environment? So I'm going to talk a little bit about that to begin. Modern development and Dinji 
I was born in a quite isolated part of eastern Tibet, and where I was born, uh, there had been no great uh, modern development. So I lived in a very natural and somewhat pristine environment until I was seven. Uh, this was the only environment in which I lived. So I experienced firsthand as a child a feeling of intimate connection with the natural environment. And I retain to this day a constant and extremely clear recollection of this. But an example to receive me now, but I'm not sure you are a rich, and a jig Holy Spirit, some of the Dutch and Bridge, Flanderwood, and Lada Luda, and there's some of the dance in the Nedi, which is here. There's an Azu Shirak, the Digi, Sadan, Doda, the Dig in Dushi, my Jevici, the living beings and other living system of the Digi in Bijitan, Nazula, be so casual, necessary, and other so crucial. ได้ไปสิเป็นอาชีพยุคชุดเดียวเลยแต่ชุดแต่บ่ชุดบ่ชุดอันนั้นบ่ชุดที่สุดนั่นเราเลยสตรีมสมัยนั้นเราสุดท
and non-biodegradable uh, substances because for the first time uh, they have to deal with real garbage. We didn't really have garbage because we used pretty well everything up and anything that we did dispose of was uh, easily biodegradable. And now, because of the introduction of artificial materials that are not biodegradable, we have to come up with new ways uh, to dispose of them. And so this, uh, to give you one example, is uh, changing the lifestyle of people in such places. Canada environment Chundu philosophy dang tiga science da keke shinga mane ina tiga lia knowledge machungwe ngalia emotional somaru tachi sonaru de susu dang energy kasuru jangjung ki sonaru de ngene chung digital knowledge jel chumuru sia dang ti junzen tene kada triji gamjo ji ebi indusane ti junzen tene da tada ji jangjung ku kol samda indusane taji knowledge ji bo mai ba da dia sonan da jebe thone sar ji yong do som som tu sin yes obviously as a child i had no knowledge of philosophy or science but i had a strong emotional connection with and a strong feeling for the environment which means that now that i've begun to acquire a little bit of knowledge it isn't just knowledge for me it's based on my strong feelings yes amli a Kajweda, Kuru Gim Tada di Kajweda, um, Kuru Sungyo di Golia, Azu Samolota, Donna, G. Kajwe, um, Chiglitic dance on Rabadaji, Azogi, the Nam Yungi, and Missiti, the Kuru Sungyo di and Javati. I think that in order to understand the uh, necessity of environmental protection, we need to understand how connected we are to one another and to our environment. So in order to understand our, our connectedness, I think we need to understand interdependence. Penang Azugi Sawe said you can be a cur. Tanang Azugi Lundi now. Kandara Mobu Mambuchil Dene, Chi Rung Jungi, the Kudelia Dense, Mazo, Sogon Segovich, the Negovich Chadi Ores. For example, for us to uh, acquire or eat any food, have clothes to wear, or even to have the bodies we do, all of these things require the interconnectedness uh, of many aspects, of many things and many people within the environment. <laughs> Object, the subject. Also, the object, the subject. When it is chi, the rangjung kuyu de ba, the object drop chi. Also, subject drop chi. Then it is the under boundary chi. So, my friend, that is the kashwe deeper, deeper layer. Partha yeh bolu chi. Then it is the also thongu aare. See, so also then the partha di, jangtha di, near thongu aye chi da. Boundary chi is maya so ko aadi, kya chi bichi chadi bichi. The value of understanding interdependence in this regard is that we often feel at some distance from our environment. We divide the world into subject and object, and we feel that the external environment is an object separated from us by some kind of boundary and at some distance from we, from ourselves as subjects. We need to dissolve this artificial boundary and decrease the distance between ourselves and our environment. 
Tini in Jusane Nazugi Randa Kuyuk in Java de Omati the Nazu Shadow to Ajidan, Nazu the Kuyuk in Java the Tanya Don Alia, Don Tourism of those Tinichevina. And I think if we do that, we can begin to feel how connected we are to our environment and how little distance, if any, there really is between ourselves and our environment. Then the Pivenalolia Chigi Kuryudang Nangi Semjin Din Javadi Bezun Karasharasana no the Chigi Bezun Shat Chikuyu di no the Nangi Semjin Digi the Chu the Chet Chikuyu Digi Natural Sustaining Summerway Hold as some of the Hold the Chet of Chita and Nangi Semjin Tamje Simjin digi di in chiku tele, then nutrients, nutrients, some of the chi, the dead which she said ever. That the Indusan digun sin dena digi, no than chigi, casual pension of digi, also the kuyu java di, and some in the chi tang, energy necessary in the chi, that did turn to order some tangues. In Tibetan, we often refer to the relationship between the external environment and the beings who inhabit that environment as the relationship between a container and its contents. We are all held by and within the environment we inhabit. We are like the contents or even the nutrients within such an environment. And it seems that it's necessary for us to begin to acknowledge uh, that interrelationship. The Indusan, the Niji, the Devil, 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 the reality is that the reality is that the reality is that the reality is that the environment is so vast and so primordial that nothing we do is actually going to affect it. Unfortunately, that's been proven not to be the case. And we need to begin to acknowledge the uh, interdependence, that the aspect of interdependence that is our effect on the environment, even as our environment affects us. <laughs> Understand you, David Pingyovane. Kadu in Azul, Guenzi Karchagarasana. Understanding their energy person somewhere. That's the truth. Understanding the person, the Barulea, Pantachum, Partachum, you, David. Understand the Chicha, person, the Krangi, Nam Jungi, Legale, and the Sound Dandan Day. Understanding the Chicha, Motu Maduchi. ドリンクスタネティジュンセンデネアジュギタアンドスチェンディングチェブナシンギエンカサディギリアクションのクビヘビアデテナシンジオンブチェブリアアジュリアタチエモーショナルレベルスナンダンドフロムハートズムルベタ
uh, we're not going to achieve anything. Our knowledge, our understanding has to become so intimate, so personal to us that it naturally changes our behavior, that we feel it emotionally and in our hearts. We need, therefore, to reflect upon the fact that um, our knowledge of the environment really uh, is a knowledge of something that's going to affect our lives, a knowledge of something that is going to affect our well-being. Energy, cultural, spiritual traditions, and around the religious tradition, the Zugi, cultural, the Shemshi Drutuyas, and Shemdi Drutuya, and what cultural Shemdi Drutuyachi, younger than Sabin, is serious. And I think it is in that regard that spiritual and religious traditions can serve the cause of environmental stewardship. The Nidusana, that is not what she will manage. ngazuyugi that the environment protection side, the root of the maimba, the tsingi zama, the kartu tsiri zama, the kandrichi susugi, kartu mizina lolia, susugi, the tsonanda jevata, nintavane, the mizina lola, la lente dolia, then the kartu azura, the tsiri yomra chevala, rom chet or something. And when I say religious traditions, I don't just mean Buddhist traditions. I mean every religious tradition in this world can play its part. And I'm confident that if we do this, if we work together, if we apply the knowledge that is embodied in the many indigenous cultures that have survived, the ancient wisdom of our ancestors, we will be able to... uh, discover together that environmental protection is not just a point of view, not just a science, but must be a way of life. In some some Uma Devi Nizu Trelia, as a chick Sidi Badan, Chulu Sidusane, that couldn't Kasu Gawan Ganda Dovich. The Nindu San the Chigi Samsam Chicana Tan Science beyond religion, beyond the political At various times in our history, science and religion have seemed uh, to be contradictory to one another, have even become enemies, attacked one another, or to be more polite, refuted one another. But really, there is a great commonality of experience that we all share. We're all human beings living in the same world, relying on the same environment. And therefore, on that basis, on the basis of acknowledging our shared or common experience, we have to accept that the protection of this environment is beyond the views of any one uh, religion. 
这样子就是强迫的你自己对了但我就看出这个给我们的什么程度强迫的你自己对了对你就是哪里我就念到两个两个话题对我就念到这个responsibility这些念到两个两个话题但给我们是不起的对老板都可以念到两个人咋差不起
preserve our environment, we all need to work together and offer our individual skills and knowledge. I'm going to uh, end my initial uh, address or talk with that and we'll begin the uh, conversation. Before we do, however, I again want to thank each and every one of you uh, for coming here and uh, convey to you my sincere delight in having this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Holiness, and thank you, Translator. Yeah. We wanted to begin by picking up on a point that you've made earlier yes. about the root of compassion is having a steadfast heart, the power of the heart. And this work with the environment for many people can be discouraging because it's so overwhelming mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. So could you speak about this need for a steadfast heart, the power of the heart mm -hmm. in compassion? Daddy, activist, some of The activist, Ilya, activist, Marcia, Dinane, Kajurida, Kuruk, activist, Marcia, this emotional child, Marcia, Daisy. Well, first of all, I would say that um, many activists, and especially environmental activists, um, naturally become highly emotionally invested in their activism. And when after years and years of very hard work, they don't see a great deal of result, they can become a little bit uh, embittered and angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And if you spend enough time listening to one dire prediction about the future of this planet after another from environmental scientists, even we listeners uh, can uh, develop a little bit of a problem in our brains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are two levels or types of activism. And the one is what we all uh, practice. We can practice it by being uh, supportive of intensive activism. But even if we... Uh, are in denial of the need for environmental activism because we're having an effect on the environment. You can call it a type of mere activism. Sometimes. The other type of activist is what we would normally refer to as an environmental activist, and that's someone who intentionally undertakes responsibility and puts great effort into the achievement of, in this case, environmental goals and changes. 
I think that one thing that's very important is for uh, those of us who are less directly involved to take some responsibility and be supportive uh, as much as we can of environmental activism because if you look at the situation there is absolutely no reason not to support environmental activism. To use myself as an example, I'm a vegetarian. And becoming vegetarian, which in my case is partly for environmental reasons, uh, is something that anyone can do. It doesn't require an organization, it doesn't require the extensive scientific knowledge or anything like that. But nevertheless, as simple as it is, when you do that, when you make that kind of change in your life, it's very encouraging because you realize that you are not without power. You have the ability, even as one person, to do at least something that is beneficial to the environment. <laughs> I think that the greatest source of courage for us in environmental stewardship comes from making such simple changes in our lives and realizing how much power we do have. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so Your Holiness, just to follow up on that last point, you raised the question in The Heart is Noble where you said, what does it take for our ideas to move our heart? So that is, what is it that moves us to overcome our habits and desires like meat eating or mass consumerism? So I wonder if you could say a little bit about what it means to move past good intentions and move into actual action. <laughs> Um, actually, you can repeat that again. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, Your, Your Holiness, you, you mentioned yourself. Uh, you've written before and in talks that you've given that when you were quite young, you were yeah. fond of eating meat. Mm -hmm. But you had the good intention of giving that up. You now yeah. are vegetarian. Yes. And that is taking a good intention and putting it into Still, action. I like meat, but it's okay. But many people wonder how to take a good intention and to actually okay. put it into practice. Okay. Well, to use the example you brought up, my vegetarianism, as you mentioned, as a child, I ate meat. In fact, I only stopped eating meat about eight years ago. So I kept on eat, eating meat um, for many years, but I knew it was wrong. I still ate it. And 
Pamjaw Chesi, and it's so takar Langati, Savage Sogati, Matsulia, then gay or sometimes. In that type of case, I think that the the bridge is a type of compassion, a type of courage, the 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 power of your heart. And by the power of your heart, I mean that which enables us to decide once and for all to take responsibility for our own actions as individuals, to be able to commit ourselves to accepting and fulfilling our responsibilities as a person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That take action with Chagwadi, that gets you with Chadi Ari. Nam Junga Zugi, Sengu Nanolia, to Mamu, advisor Mamuchi on that, the Nich and I would, the Nich and Kalinism. In Jimmy, that's so you take action with Chagwadi, the Dipsi instead of sometimes. So the bridge is that a mere understanding become a more emotionally felt <laughs> and a deep emotional feeling based on understanding will inspire us to take action. Once we, once we listen to uh, the advice of our hearts. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You spoke on science and religion, a very important topic, a very complex topic. I'd love you to speak a little bit more because for many years, mm-hmm scientists have been speaking yeah. about climate change yeah. and the environment mm-hmm. and now there's a new moment mm-hmm. when some scientists are saying this is no longer an issue of science alone mm-hmm. but a moral issue mm-hmm. and that's what your work encourages us in yeah. this new dialogue of yeah. science and religion can you speak on that wow <sighs> Uh, the 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 Chung Personal Feeling. That's <laughs> Based on scientist knowledge 
information as um, you said, environmental protection or conservation uh, is fundamentally a moral issue. And the, the reason, the, the fundam, the crucial um, factor in it that makes it a moral issue is that the degradation or destruction of the environment has been caused by human greed. And our human greed, uh, bad enough as it is to start with, has only been exacerbated, fed, by our media and our advertising industry. The problem we face, therefore, is that human desire is limitless. But environmental resources are limited. And therefore, it is our responsibility as those who depend on these resources to rein in and control our greed. In order that we, we start doing so, it is essential that religious leaders, spiritual leaders, spiritual teachers not only preach about individual practice issues or, or individual moral codes, but also about global issues and that they provide in moral guidance on environmental stewardship because they are the ones who can evoke feeling, evoke enthusiasm, evoke an emotional commitment uh, in their followers. Until we accept the fact that our environment is not external to us, it pervades us, it's within our bodies and our minds as well, it will be difficult for us to, to change our behavior. But the key to becoming really motivated to change the way we live and uh, thereby begin to heal the environment, the key that will open the door to that type of motivation seems to be in the hands of those religious and spiritual leaders who are willing to provide moral guidance concerning the environment that is based on sound scientific knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. So to take the conversation in a slightly different direction, Your Holiness, you spoke about the practice of dissolving the distinction between subject and object, the inner and outer worlds. And of course, there are many techniques for putting that into practice in meditation. You can study about that. You can uh, practice it. But I wonder, does the practice of cultivating, of dissolving that distinction, naturally lead to a feeling of connection for the environment, for an appreciation of the environment? Meditation Tate Meditation. 
sensitivity. We have um, a number of meditation practices, as you mentioned in your question, concerned with dissolving, dissolving excuse me, the uh, false boundary between self and other. One of these is contemplating the equality of oneself and others, which is fundamentally developing an empathetic uh, recognition that just as I want to be happy and not suffer, uh, so uh, do others, and that in that we're exactly the same. And once you have taken this to heart, then of course you have to put it into practice and live accordingly. We also do meditations on exchanging oneself for others, where you actually imagine yourself in the position of another and that other in the position of yourself. When you try to imagine as wholeheartedly, as 100% as possible, how they feel, what they're going through, and then apply that. So there should be ways to extrapolate from these techniques and apply them to environmental awareness. ตัดดิคุซุพางุติเนจิกอรบะงาซุคุซุตางาดงาซุงุงาซุตางาดคุซุงุติเนจิดุซันตัดดิจิงาซุนเปียนตองเลงกิชาดิอันนะจิซามะ
Well, the climate change is a huge process. Mm -hmm. It's very vast. It has all kinds of sub bits and pieces. And it's um, a somewhat gradual process so that we don't directly feel it or notice it day by day. Um, by the time that we all feel climate change, it will be far too late to do anything about it. So there really are two levels of denial here. There's the denial of those who are actual climate change deniers, politicians and others. And then there's the denial that most of us live in of climate change, where because we don't actually feel it, um, it's not really in our minds most of the mm -hmm. time. And then there are little pockets of odd reactions. For example, uh, Tibetans, Tibet is a very cold country. It's often hard to get warm enough. And so the uh, global warming, some Tibetans have greeted this with enthusiasm, <laughs> saying it doesn't get as cold as it used to. It's much more pleasant. As for what to do about uh, politicians and others who are uh, active or outspoken climate change deniers, the best thing might be to appeal to support from religious and spiritual leaders mm -hmm. because they have so much influence over their uh, respective communities or, or devotees. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, Your Holiness, the last question is one a number of our uh, undergraduate students asked. And that is, how can students at, in a university like Yale organize themselves to take fruitful and positive action for the environment? What can they do that's practical? え、テックアクションを始めます。まあ、もちろんであれ。だいな決心主義、田んぼ進むに合図あって決心します。から、進む主義、どうなるしたんし、チェビミナ。で、で、で、進む主義チェビに入れさんてれ電車ね。え、進